Welcome back. Tonight we're going to be going back into our fourth round. Fourth round? Are there? Third round of Starfinder. <laughs> Swear God, this is we're going into no, a round of Starfinder. We'll feed you. Us. And where were we when we last left our intrepid, trepid space adventurers? We just dealt with zombies on my ship. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're still inside giant sandstorm. I think we just finished up the <laughs> enclosed ship, right? To go to the dark side. Of we, went, yeah, we, we went there. Context. We went there. We fought, we fought the zombies. Oh, that's right. No, I'm, I'm like too bad. And, and, yeah, that's right. See, you're, and, you're at the second one. Yeah. And it was not the dark side of the planet, but the stormy side. Stormy stormy yes. Stormy side. Stormy side. Which is yes. Dark. <laughs> Medium dark. <laughs> and then we Medium side found a ship that <clears throat> found a ship that Raga liked. And it fought the zombies. And then Raga was in the ship, and there was a vest zombie vest in there. And yeah. you executed it. I could grab him. Yes. <coughs> and I think that brings us back up to speed. You had discovered uh, basically a ship graveyard of ships that had become lodged within a canyon within the wind that was a little more accessible. Um, the rolls weren't as hard as far as staying upright or anything along those lines within the canyon walls because the wind was a little more survivable. But you did still all have uh, enviro suits when we left you, so you would still be protected to go outside. Um, and we had, I think it was Raga and Cash and uh, Makizos inside the ship. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. With the two of you standing guard outside? Because they or were just finishing your combat. No. I was outside with Captain setting up a perimeter. And you came in and supercharged his weapon in Did the I? last move. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I have like oh, that's right. That's right. 46 on a... Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. I did like 36 damage or something. Yeah. Cool. I killed the chair. <laughs> And that's where we'll pick up with our hang on, best hang on, hang on. warrior standing mm-hmm. over the body. Zombie, our wizard's hands fading from their glow of supercharging the weapon. That was fun. I start making repairs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna follow at this point. What are you so, repairing? Well, I, I was gonna I mean, ask. I gotta you. get the the bridge prepared first, so that we can check the systems with the bridge computers. So I just start doing that. Give me, <laughs> give me. <laughs> yeah, both. Say, give me an engineering roll. You can. It's a ten to get this plus two, right? That's how it works. Uh, you roll at a ten, and then I get a plus two. You don't get. Wait, actually, I think you do still. I was going to ask Raga to look at the vest and see if he recognized anything in the uniform nope. because I don't, but maybe he would. You don't get the plus two. <laughs> I don't know anything about those things. <laughs> uh, 15 plus. I haven't brought up my character sheet yet. I believe you're a plus eight or 11. No, I'm plus 11. 11. Um, this ship lost control and got lodged where it is, uh, which screwed with some of the life support equipment, but you can turn it on. There's nothing that's actually broken. What, the ship just works? Yeah, like it's it, it's lodged in there, so you have to figure out a way to get it out of the canyon, <coughs> but it it's functional. Well, just, does it have a drift drive? Uh, you can check. I'll start working with life. <laughs> wait, 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 assist. I mean, I don't assist again. Do you want to just walk back to the engine and look? Well, but the ship is still working. It, yeah. There's no drift drive. Okay. Because no. I was like, we could just plop into the drift. <laughs> no longer stuck. <laughs> um, crap. Well, is the drift drive like our drift drive? This was like, or is it like, to be? Yeah, our terrible? drift drive was gone. Yeah, yeah. But this one's also missing. Uh, okay. <laughs> Well, at least it's somewhat efficient. So we brought all those parts for nothing? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I need them to, like, make things better. And you also know that you guys blew out one of the windows in this vessel. Mm-hmm. So you're going to have to repair something if you're going to get it anywhere. Because, <laughs> yeah. I'll start patching up the window, I guess. Okay. Just, like, not like a window, just like, like boarding it up, and sealing it, welding it. I have UPBs. Can we use those? Uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. And you have the, you have the skill to craft them? If it uses the ship stats that we did, yes. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> what is that? Uh, it just has a workshop. It has a tech workshop on board, so I can turn UBPs, which are these little like rice-sized things. They're called uni- universal base polymers, uh, and they can be turned into literally anything else. 
they're worth the same price as a single credit. Yeah. So it's like a one for one trade of a gold for a UPB um, because a UPB can be used in so many ways. UPBs is what credits are based on, mm-hmm. essentially. Mm-hmm. Like how our economy is based on gold, their economy is based on UBPs. So, um, but yeah, with UBPs, I could a new glass. I got a twenty-seven. That's fine. Yeah, there's a glass there. Um, okay, uh, you do still have within the ship um, a full crew of bodies. Um, you know that most of them are skeletal at this point, but you well, did have a vest that was half formed. I don't that need was to uh, they're saying they're not getting you, Jerry. Hello. Well, don't just talk into the talk normally, but Hello. if you guys About can now. let us know when you hear Jerry. <sighs> <laughs> takes 20 seconds. <laughs> like five seconds for they, they, can, they can judge, they can listen, see how it There is. we go. Okay. Sorry. Right. I'm sorry I keep interrupting. You're good. <laughs> uh, me and Makizos will go through and systematically kill each skeleton. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you want to. So none of the other ones are. Okay. <laughs> I just want to get the head off of everything. Okay. Go right so ahead. Maybe put your mic up here because they were saying when you lifted your shirt. <laughs> Okay, so go ahead and you can okay. cut everything. Each of their heads off? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not even going to require a wolf for that. They okay. are just yeah. brittle bones. Cool. Okay, right. so. so you guys throw out the bodies. I'll go pick up a head and help throw them out. And bada boom. Bada bing, bada bing. <laughs> and we're going to leave the bodies in the canyon? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, can we search them? Is there anything... Sure. I mean, each of them is wearing um, spacesuits. It looks like with the amount of time that they've been here, um, they've started to deteriorate. It was super dry inside the ship, which is why the vest that had scales was the only one that had kind of still flesh left. Um, so these have pretty much mummified. Are they the wearing the same suits as the vest was? No. Like they're not? Okay. No, it looked like it was uh, a vest commanding a vessel of uh, various races. Gotcha. I'll try to Dig a shallow trench, if this is diggable. Sure. For us to put those bodies in. Um, I won't make you roll for that either, because okay. that's a nice, easy task. <laughs> diggable. Um, so uh, out in there, it's not hard to do it. It's mostly sandy terrain over here. Um, it's not clear how long it'll last, because things change. seem so like they windy. change a lot. Yeah. Um, but for the time being, the bodies are covered. Okay. Um, what are we doing with all of the equipment that you have outside? I feel like we should still um, load it onto the ship in case we need it for repairs. We have two cargo bays, so we should be able to hold all of it. Okay. And at this point, I'm taking it that you've explored the ship then to have this knowledge? They assume so. They said they walked through all throughout the ship. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't say it in my Raga voice. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. I'm going to have explored. Yeah, okay. me and Makizo sort of see if we found any other threats. So, as the group has explored the vessel, um, there's a lot of familiarity within it. Um, this seems like almost a larger version of what you used to have. Um, a lot of the equipment it seems kind of standard issue, and it's uh, it's fairly, like, by the book, what you remember training on. Um it is definitely a higher level than what you had previously because you had a small vessel before that was just a tier one. And this seems like it's probably a tier two. Um, but like coloring and everything matches. Can I access any crew records? I did get the computer system back up. So. Yeah, it's functional. Uh, I'm going to spend my time repairing the life support system so we can do a vacuum check. Great. Okay. Can I help her with the computers? Sure. And I will and help him all the time. Okay. Check weapons. Yeah. Cool. So you get a plus two on your check. You were willing to help, mm-hmm. Captain. I didn't help. Okay. <laughs> Thirteen. Okay. Um. So it's password protected when you pull it up, but can I tell like what kind of system this is? So when you pull up the screen to start looking for personnel, it is exactly what you would have done on your other ship. Like the process is all the same. It's a different password, a different um, access number. Um, so whoever was you know the primary user on this had a different login, basically. But it's the same system. We yeah, would use. yeah. Like the down to the point where it's the same desktop background for the login screen. How many skeletons were there? 
Uh, there were six on this vessel. Is anyone else getting Dijon mustard from the ship? I think you mean deja vu. It's all French. <laughs> what, what were the different... Can I do a check, like a physical science check or life science check to sure. see what races they were? Sure, yeah. You will have to go... Uh, 12. Okay, uh, and the other question was, are you going to go dig up the bodies? The stream wants us to bury them with care. <laughs> we do. Well, we have to dig them back up to do that. I'll dig one up. Okay. Yep. Um, the one that you dig up uh, is a human. Human? Okay. Mm-hmm. Ugh, filthy thing. It's hard to tell much just because of the mummification, mm-hmm. uh, but definitely a human. Uh, you can't tell like any like um, defining features about them. Okay. Uh, I'll bury him back. Okay. I would check weapon systems while I'm there too. Okay. Do I roll for that? Um, no, I mean, the computer system's up. Uh, you can't get into any of its databases or anything, right. but it's functional. So can we can't use it, though, or anything, right? Because the passwords? No, that's just for data. Okay. I'm going to search the crew uh, rooms. Okay. Yes. So... I just like to go out back outside and start checking out like the whole how thing, it's stuck. How it's stuck? Okay, great. What's blocking? Yeah. Um, first. I would say, what would you like to roll for that? What would I like to roll for that? Mm-hmm. I would probably, I'd put engineering because it's like the way it's kind of structured against yeah. something and like checking for like how the load's affecting it, but it that could also good. be like, I don't know what architecture would be, would be the best way to describe how something, how culture. It, no, no, like, are More the physics something? and the weight of how something's put into place. Physical sciences. There we go. No, no, yeah, so you can roll engineering or physical sciences, whichever right. is better. Okay. 16. Okay. Um, so, with how it's lodged, what looks like basically you can devise what happened was as the ship entered the atmosphere, they couldn't correct for the strong winds because they weren't expecting them. Um, and it spun out, and that's how it landed here. It's not lodged really strongly it's like the gravity of its own weight is keeping it down um but with the system fully operational and thrusters you could probably get it out of the space it's going to cost some fuel to do so okay i know i keep interrupting but um so we're still not hearing you ah. and they're saying that i think they think that you just need to project because i think put it in the middle of your the chest mon- i think when we had the multi-directional it picks it up better you want to do that really quick it might have been probably having it on the side was probably difficult because then if you turn away from it, but having it in the middle is probably fine. Okay, right. now speak, Jared. <laughs> My name is Jared. I am checking the support of the ship to make sure that it is possible to get out. And I was thinking maybe using the speeders to help like guide it out so that it doesn't get as damaged on the way out. Okay. How was that, Scott? Thank you, Scott. Let me know, Scotty. I wanted to say beam me up, Scotty, but that doesn't work. <laughs> Feel me up, Scotty. Saying kind of a bit better. Mm-hmm. Okay. All, all Scotty doesn't know. Low. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna. Like I'm on a game show. Try, try <laughs> to turn up Jared specifically. There we are, everybody. Does this sound a little better? I'm concerned. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> also, that. <laughs> This is fine. I've been really lazy about uh, doing any internal editing on videos, and this is going to have to be internally edited. <laughs> so, eh, we'll figure it out. Well, I'll work I could try it out. Okay. Okay. How about Could you be clear, Scott? When he holds it up, is it better? Or was it better when he had it on his shirt? Scald. Scald 627. Would be more <laughs> specific about what exactly when it was better because we're getting things 20 seconds after like i mean like we're in the past it is we're we're technically in their future when he talks right into it it's better so like this i'll just kind of hold it right here because i usually keep my hands like this anyway see how it goes do we still have those headsets could we attach it to one of the headsets i don't know it wouldn't attach to it 
No, no, I mean just literally clip it to the headset. Yeah, just pop the sword in my garage. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Okay, but we can consider that in the future. We'll try to. Mm-hmm. Uh, so is my sound better with it on the side than it was before? Bada boom. Because I know you said you were having trouble with me. It's not as a well. bad idea. <laughs> wait, wait, you gotta make sure that there's no logo show. There is no logo on this one. <laughs> it's okay, we show logos all the time. Like, uh, <laughs> like people wouldn't just instinctively know what that is now. Yeah, that's true. Like the green straw. Boom. All <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, yes, the generic company. Mm-hmm. 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 My favorite coffee. The hand job. Okay, and now I'm getting that I'm too quiet, so they turn me up just a little bit. So we're <laughs> I didn't know pretty that. close to 10, and when we what? hit 10, it, it bottoms out. And I will just project stretchy. more. That's fine. Uh, <sighs> oh, thank everybody for your patience. We appreciate the assistance. New mic day is always safe. New mic day. <laughs> and we'll decide later if we're going to keep these ones. Um... Okay, so we had our uh, SRO that was starting to build a plan as far as possibly how to dislodge the ship. Yes. And we had our captain that was getting ready to explore the <coughs> staterooms. Yes, starting with what I think is the captain's room. Okay. Uh, I'm just looking for any information about what their uh, mission was and who might have sent them. And then also any information about the password. <laughs> to this computer okay um so i i think we're going really roll heavy today but i'm gonna keep making you roll so i'm sorry that's about fine. that just, whenever we enter a new room as far as state for. rooms uh, i'll keep getting a new investigation from you okay well that's fun i'm glad <laughs> i started with the captain's room <laughs> he said investigate what does that translate to and i think one? there is an investigation I have one. zero then, I guess, on that. So it's Wait. just 20. <laughs> but <laughs> still in at 20. 20 is great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so you can confirm with the way that the room is decorated and some of the photos that personalize the space. The captain was the Vesk um, oh, okay. that was left over. Um, mm-hmm. So uh, the bed itself is large to fit, you know, larger body. Um, it's pretty sparse the way the room is put together, but there are two photos on what would be the nightstand. Um, there's one of the Vesk uh, smiling, holding up uh, like an award, having been promoted. Um, and then there's one of the Vesk uh, that has his arm around uh, another Vesk. Um, with Vesk's gender, it's a little hard to tell, but another Vesk. Okay. So. Um, he doesn't than... have a notebook that conveniently has passwords written down in it. <laughs> <laughs> Does not appear to. Um, no, there he was are. Smarter than that. <laughs> there are. Are we having trouble getting into the computer system? Because I can hack it. Presently, we're having trouble getting a okay. computer system. No, I, um, I've been I was going to suggest that we have you hack it. Okay. So, assist. in the room, we're not we're not out of the room. I mean, <laughs> in the room, um, there's a closet with some personal effects, some changes of clothes, probably things that would fit Mike. Um, nothing else that would be necessarily of use. Um, given how you ran your own ship, you know that there's not going to be like environmental suits in a personal room. Probably also not going to be a lot of weapons in a personal room. So, really, just the pictures and a couple changes of clothes. Is there a protocol with like logs? That's all in the computer system, probably, yeah. right? Okay. 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 I'll go plug into the system, open up the little computer on my back, and let him hack away. I get a better rating with my actual. Okay. Oh, I thought I, I was just kind of doing it for flavor. Uh, that's an 18. Okay. You get plus two for me. Um, and as an engineer, I do. Uh, if I hit a countermeasure, I right before I set it off, I should know about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, there is no countermeasure. Oh, okay. It opens up. Okay. Um, you still don't get what the original password was, but you can go around it. Again, part of this is that it's so familiar, and you know how to get into the back doors of your own systems. So this is very similar. So I just basically have it send us a reset password email. <laughs> <laughs> Even though you've got no service the rest of this time as far as I think, all of a sudden your extra arm buzzes and it's <laughs> it's a verification code. Um, no, but you get into the system, uh, anything's open that you'd so like to look at. I unplug from the system and go like, there, God. And <laughs> go back to what I was doing. <laughs> Can I look in the captain's room and see if I recognize anything? Uh, Sure. Okay, just because they're a Vesk. Yeah. Curious now. What am I rolling? Uh, Investigation as well. I don't think investigation exists. There is no No. investigation skill. Closest would be perception. I've been asking for it. I don't remember. 
just you could ask one for up. you could ask for survival checks maybe that doesn't I think I'll, cultural we can go with perception for, or culture yeah we can't go with survival <laughs> you could also you could also just create investigation and just have it be a d20 plus you know what i mean like just make it a d20 yeah just to see how much you find perception's fine oh okay um 16 16 um so from the background of like the the photo um it's clear that he at one point was in the best military um you recognize in him holding up the award that that's that's where the award's from for sure um it looks like uh on the second photo where it's him and another vest um they are not anywhere that you recognize climate wise in the Viscarum. Mm -hmm. the plants are usually pretty distinct um and it's not that background okay. um so it's not you can't necessarily tell where they were but in when the second photo he's out of the Viscarum. um so was in the military got promoted uh had the rank of captain left the Viscarum at some point okay cool then nothing useful out of this stuff uh the clothes uh, are a mix of traditional vest clothes and then um, something that you would, you know, see in the core world. So, okay. So. Cool. Okay, crew meeting. Let's all come together. Okay. <laughs> and everybody gives their reports. Can we have it in the engine room? As <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay, options. I should have life support up and running soon. I mean, if we're not lodged too bad, we could just blast our way out. Blast our way out of this canyon? Yeah, and then just re-land somewhere, repair the hull. Yikes. Okay. I also believe Any with the thoughts? speeder's guidance, <laughs> we could help steer the ship with avoiding most hull damage. However, for the most part, there will be hull damage. Well, this is the best we could hope for, honestly. Couldn't we dig it out? We could try that. I mean, we have these extra ship parts. I'm sure some of them could be turned into explosives. You said dig. Well, we're not going to dig with our hands. <laughs> You're going to explode the ground underneath the ship that we're in? Well, so There's if no it's, ground underneath. So if it's lodged in, like if we gouge out enough of one of the walls or make the stone... Like we just need a little wiggle room. It did appear the that the ship could the, fly itself out. It did appear that there was no actual like friction holding it down. It's mostly it is just simple gravity holding us trapped onto the sides. We're not necessarily stuck. A small bit of movement will be able to move us. Okay, so with his piloting, do we feel like if I got the thrusters up and working, like we could get the ship out that way? Um, it is never not helpful to have additional assistance. Uh, but with a high enough um, skill, you could probably get it out. I am confident in my abilities, but with you piloting the speeder to help turn through the tight canyons, quite confident. That's... <laughs> Were you not listening? <laughs> I, mean, I was sound checking the entire time. <laughs> I mean, if Mikisos and Cash went out and just... I mean, we have guns. We could just <laughs> scoop out part of the side, give us wiggle room. It would be helpful. Let's try that first. Or, like, so is it a... So in my brain, I don't know why I feel like this. I feel like it's the canyon wall, and then there's, like, a spire of stone on the other side that's that's lodged it. From the picture that you showed us, that's what it kind of looked like. Um, I think that if I'm not totally mistaken, which is very possible um it was lodged between like three spires okay is the way that it so fell. if we controlled explosion probably. one of those spires at the base that would give us we would no longer be held right? so are you i think you already answered this but how big are the spires around around yeah um i mean they gotta hold this weight okay they're a good size yeah well they are made of merely rock, correct? So, what if I supercharge Mikizos' saber and cut through them? It would take time. Enough time to probably make sure that the engine's thrusters are working properly. Or like, someone have a grenade? Properly. It might be a better than uh, exploding 
Is there a grenade in the ship? Spines, potentially. Oh, yeah. Oh, Check for an Good armory. <laughs> Do you want me to roll for it or just look at the armory? Yeah, just look in the armory. I'm looking in the there armory. Are, there are grenades in the ship. I um, take all of the grenades <laughs> and I will give them one to use. Because <laughs> I have used grenades a lot. <laughs> there are there's six total. So I will program myself to one. Okay. I mean, okay, not for well, nothing. Cash was trying to say we should try not to explode. No, yeah, things. no, he has a good point. <laughs> then I will keep all six not grenades. For so you keep those safe. <laughs> not for nothing, but the ship does have a gyro laser. Okay. So can we? I can shoot the pillar then. I mean, it's made to cut through ships' hulls. Those are made out of metal. <laughs> okay, so can I slice the pillar? Is it dexterous enough that we can... Impact? Well, so the gyro laser that we installed that's on the ship, it fires in uh, three arcs. So I'm assuming that it is. Now you have this on the forward of the ship. It's forward, but at a minus two, it can it can fire because it has the... Uh, yeah, it can fire in both the side of its arcs cool. too. So it has like, even though it is just a forward mounted weapon, I picked it because it... Uh, can actually has a pretty high fire rating and then we also have the chain cannon which is a purely physical weapon made to destroy hulls that's on a turret mm -hmm. so that one can be fired in any direction alternatively we could go to a different ship that's not stuck i worry about that because then we're exposing ourselves again to what's outside <laughs> i think mark has done a lot of work in all on this one so far oh. in my opinion i could still <laughs> <laughs> i could pilot it out as it is but it'd be easier without one of the spires okay do i, I just, to, do I just to shoot the spire yeah I say we use the gyro laser on one Make of the sure. spires. Wait for my shoot like, spire. <laughs> don't shoot it yet as I start to get the engine running so that when it falls, we don't just... <laughs> oh, no, I'm, right, I'm let's waiting. let's coordinate this. I'm, yeah. I'm just waiting until you tell me what to okay, do, but I'm so out the gun. you need to be outside to do that, right? Or are you no, I think in some sort of cockpit? I'm or? in... He a, literally fires from the... the think Millennium Bridge. Oh, okay, bridge. so we can all be inside while this is happening. Okay, cool. uh, also, uh, the shield system, is it up? Um, it... It's going to need a little more work to be like okay. battle ready, but it is functional. Well, I just want to protect the ship from hull damage mm -hmm. from the pillars. Um, I would say you would need to activate it, not touching okay. something. Okay. Like you'd have to be out of the pillars to be able to activate the shield. Gotcha. Yeah. If you activate it now, I don't know what it's going to do. It might force the pillars out. True. <laughs> That's possible. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. What else are we doing to prepare? I'm going to get life support going okay. so that uh, I already fixed the window. Uh, you want me to make the, the final roll for that life support system? Uh, yeah, Can that's fine. Uh, with it? Yeah. You're supposed to be getting the, sh the engines warmed up. And this is engineering? Yeah. yeah. Or you can do, I would say you can do life sciences to check the levels. Because if he's getting the life system up, you want to make sure that there's oxygen, that it's going to be able to produce gravity in your orbit. That, that's, yeah. Um, I got a 25 on the actual system. Okay, so the way that you're looking at all of the ratings, everything's fine. You're going to have enough atmosphere to at least uh, survive a week within the ship. Okay. Uh, just because nothing's been touched in so long. It all shut off when the ship shut off. Okay. Did I fix the laser? No, no, no. no it's, it's, you got, it's already up and running. Oh, okay. I was telling him that you have enough. He can see that you have enough oxygen for a week at least. Uh, well, once we get it back to the safe side of the planet over at Bertalda's, mm -hmm. perhaps. Uh, we can work on actually cleaning out the vents and everything. But if we can get it because I would really not want to be on this side of the planet anymore. Yeah. <laughs> is, is there enough space to land the craft at Bertalda's? You, the way that everything works there, you could probably not land it within the yard, but it's mostly just open desert. Okay. So you could so land it next up, to her. Set up a fire. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. We just can't ever go back into town because we promised them we would never come back like on the outskirts. I made no such promise. <laughs> I told them we wouldn't come back. Who will be piloting the speeders in this moment so we do not leave, leave those your behind. ass if you want to go back. I believe the speeders are stored in the hull. Oh, we brought them inside? Unfortunately, the ship does not have enough storage for the speeders. Oh. So if and we I would... take the ship, we're going to have to leave the speeders. Can we take one? Well, I was kind of figuring that. <clears throat> no, we don't have a. It would be, be attached to the ship to help it guide it through the canyon in the beginning. You need a special kind attached of expansion. By what? I think what he was suggesting was like you chain the speeders to the ship to help pull 
like like, yeah. tug, like tug it out of its spot so that when I do lift up and around, I'm not going to be grinding as much as I can help get it more fine. So like a tugboat or pulled by the wind before yeah, it's like operational. Okay, who else can pilot? I have. I can do it. Probably one of them. Piloting. No, I don't. I have plus one. I have horrible. Power. I, have, I have zero. So I will not. I have a plus six. So I guess I, I can. <laughs> I guess I can put this very important stuff that I'm doing aside. Well, you finish <laughs> doing it. Just go guide the speeders. Yeah, you can finish setting it up first. No, because we need to get the ship. It would be. I would feel much more comfortable because, like, any moment now, lightning could strike this thing and damage all the systems. Mm-hmm. So. Raga wants to get it to Bertaldas. Okay. <laughs> hook it up so that, in a way, so that when I do get it up, they will help, you know, like, help me rotate it so that we can guide it through the canyon without, like, having to go straight up and out into the crazy sandstorm. As the closest thing to an engineer that we have, <laughs> Mr. DM, <Yeah. laughs> what should we be doing to get this ship out? <laughs> I mean, that's entirely up to you. I think all of the ideas you suggested are coming. Okay, okay. I think, yeah. Okay. I just don't want to do something completely out of physics because I do not understand. No, I mean, I think everything that, <laughs> in, in game physics, everything you guys have suggested has been a good idea. Okay. I'm just waiting for you guys to decide which of the good ideas you want to use. All right. Preparing so to... we're going oh. to try the grenades on one of the, the pillars no. first. Oh, we're doing the gun. We're not doing grenades on the pillars at all. Okay. So we're doing the gun. then. Yes. Okay. So we'll do the gun, then heal pilot and I will guide from the speeder. And hopefully not die a horrible death. <laughs> and then we have two speeders, so if you want to take the other one, try and help us. Okay. Two speeders and a turret. And a, and a, and a thing. Okay. <laughs> Who's... Let's... Go first, I, I have to remember, I have to figure out how I roll this. Okay, <clears throat> but okay. you probably should make sure everybody's in before you shoot it. Right. Well, so... Let's, so we said that I was waiting until everyone tells me to shoot. Got so it. if you're telling me to shoot, I'm assuming we're... Yeah. Okay, we're all so place. to fire the turret, <clears throat> it is a... D20, gunner's base attack bonus, gunner's dexterity modifier. Oh, you have it. Yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to do the math. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then tell me what the damage... It's 64. 64. Um, I'll supercharge it okay. when we're ready. <laughs> okay. And which of you is taking which of the... Uh, speeders. There's speeders. So we have an enclosed one, one and an open two? one. Oh, okay. Um, which one's more difficult? To I have my personal energy shield, so I'll take the unshielded one. Would it be a better idea for Dex to take the yes, unshielded to pilot the tree, one? The ship. Uh, well, if one of you guys pilots the ship, and he pilots the one that's out in the environment that he doesn't get affected by. I feel like his is going to be the most difficult pilot check. Okay. Though. He's got the suit. Okay. Yeah, I have my suit, and like I said, I have an energy shield as got well. It. So like we are kind of interchangeable. I'm still slightly heavier. I only okay. have a plus six, so I have plus eight. Well, remember also as an ace pilot, don't you other lower things. the DC? Yeah. Yeah, but that's for our shield. That's handy. Get them from both ends. All right. <laughs> Speeder, okay. in close speeder, uh, not close speeder. He's with the gun. Supercharged. You're neck with him, and then you're at the helm. So and the entire Starting team is operational. Yeah. Ready. Hold on. I'm trying to find my <laughs> fucking freaking oh, freaking. We're, we're gonna kill the pillar first. That's what's first. first. I want all the rolls simultaneous on this one. Uh oh. Setting it to hover in this moment. Because you're doing something that's going to affect all of you Can evenly I- here. So they're not take Cast gunnery? and help him aim. Uh, so gunnery mm-hmm. isn't really okay. a skill skill. Um, so you could just use your base attack bonus and your piloting ranks. Which I don't have any piloting ranks. Well, so it's piloting ranks or your base attack bonus. Your base attack bonus is plus two. Right. So plus two decks. Mm-hmm. And then... And can we say engineering for telling him where to shoot so it sure. doesn't fall on us? Ooh, physical science. Now, would it be physical science? <coughs> yeah, because it's literally physics. Cool. Yeah. You can use either. Cool, 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 cool. So I'm getting a bonus from you too? Maybe. Okay. He wants them all at the same time. Uh-huh. So. Well, I mean, uh, per the ship rules, you mm-hmm. could use computers to target the thing, and then that would give him bonuses. Either way, it's the same yeah. mm-hmm. Same rule for me. So I'll Whichever use, you're better computers. with. Yeah. So we'll all roll, but we're going to go in order so that we can... Kind of flip flow. Yeah. Okay, so who's going? What's 
No, it was just all roll at once, I thought. Yep. Yeah, do it. No! <laughs> oh! Did you, get a, did you get one too? Yeah. <laughs> what do we got? 19. 19? Perfect. I got a 29. 28. Yeah. 26. <laughs> I got a 19. Okay. All of you did way better than I expected. <laughs> 20. Teamwork! <laughs> it's almost like we're professionals. <laughs> uh, it goes off without a hitch. You hit the spire just the right way where the ship would start to fall, but they're pulling in the opposite direction. You don't lose the nose, and the engines catch on. You now have the ship up and moving below the lip of the canyon. And then you guys are jumping in somehow? Well, I assume he can land on the the canyon, because it's flat, right? (laughs) Um, It's So the way it is, is it's, he's like above the spires now, but it's going to be, (laughs) (laughs) it's going to be a bunch of spires like that. That's the way it's cracks. I throw a rope down for them. Okay. And can we tow the speeders on, or they're going to get fucked well, up? I mean, I built the speeders back. out of scrap. I mean, like, I don't think we really need them. We, okay. could, we could give them to Portaldo as a thank you. Well, I'm so just she could go around the desert. Can we tow them to her yard, or are we going to lose them as we fly there? You, you can just drive, drive them there while track. I take the ship. What do we have to roll to see? Just piloting me. would be piloting. to see if you can, okay. if so you can tow them. Or our non essential ship repair personnel would be. The captain and the Kizos. For what? Because if I'm going to be working on the ship back at Bertalda's, because mm-hmm. it's going to take them like a half day to get back. Why don't we just tell them? I don't know. I... We, we could climb back up mm-hmm. and still tow them. And if they don't make it a well, kind of, I'm kind of just kind of thinking you yeah. guys like yeah, you guys are still in them as they're being towed and just guiding them so that well, they don't hit. But the what walls. he's saying is he needs he to needs be, to in be the inside ship. to do repairs while we're going. not while we're well not while we're towing flying. In. But I think it might be. Stuff you can do just, you I really just don't want to put a living body inside yeah, the towed vehicles. <laughs> it might be safer if there's no body in there, so we can uh, dish them if yeah. anything happens. Kind of hoping so that they're not just like free swinging on the back. Well, okay. So here's my thought process. Let me fully explain okay. myself. So if we fly above the spires, that means we're the tallest thing in a planet-wide thunderstorm. Mm-hmm. So, but if we drag two objects behind us while we fly through literally a plinko machine, <laughs> <laughs> it could damage the ship because they could plink off of something into the ship. Here's what I'm going to tell you. Anything that you do to get the speeders back, the rolls are going to be harder. Yes. You can do it. They're mm-hmm. just going to be harder. Leave the speeders. I'm saying we can give, we can record where they are, and if Bertaldo wants to come back for them, yeah. they are, but they are towable. Like, so if Bertaldo wants them, mm-hmm. like, she can figure that out. And the alternative is that you can split up. I don't want to do that. Okay. Um, I was not, I was never thinking of I'm not piloting it back because I, I can't guys, pilot. But that's what I'm saying. That's where it gets dangerous. I was going slowly, slowly dragging it behind. I'm not going to be going fast. Let's just, out of the let's just leave him. It's, Captain, it's your call. Yeah. It is your call. Uh, I'm down with leaving him. So let's climb back up into the ship. And Very well. And should I okay. roll again to drive away? Yeah. Once we have everybody in the ship, is there anything that you want to take with you from the speeders you brought? Uh, we already awesome. loaded all of the scrap into the ship. Great. Do you want to break down some of the speeders and see if there's anything salvage? I mean, if we want to take the time, I could just turn them back into scrap, I guess. Um, that's going to be another four so yeah, hours in the canyon. Yeah, I don't Let's know go. why we're so attached to them. Okay. <laughs> I, <feel dead. laughs> I know, but we have a, we have a ship now. Using the telemetry on the computers, can I help his piloting role? Yeah. Isn't that your job? Is that, yeah. is that Technically, his not? job is to give us information uh, about stuff oh, around. It's perfectly oh, no. It's up to you. I, that's not... Reroll it. That doesn't look cocked 19. to me. It's like... Ow. These dice trays have problems, too, I'm seeing. <laughs> mm, that's a 19. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> like the DM Does he that. give me advantage? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> one, right? Yeah. Well, remember, you can't crit fail skills, so still add your... Nine. Nine? Stuff. And then I got a 19, so... On the telemetry. 11. So 11 total. Okay. 
And per the plan, I can't get the shields up now. <laughs> but I didn't say that before you started piloting. So. Okay. Um, so the the hip the hips shoal um, takes five damage um, as you kind of grind along. You take a second that you lose the piloting okay. of it. It grinds along the way. Fifty five health points. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> Rag is just like we're fine. We're it's fine. fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> No, but you, sir, I said six degrees, not ten degrees. <laughs> the wind is a little bit more intense than I imagined. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Pull it back. Pull it back. <laughs> okay. It takes much less time now that you're above those spires. You're not having to navigate any further. Uh, and within an hour, you can see the horizon in front of you starting to lighten. Okay. Just... As soon as we like have free range, just start to speed up, get away from. The okay, screen. I want to activate. Uh, can you use computers to activate the shields? <laughs> uh, Fourteen. Great, and because you guys were talking about doing that earlier, yeah. we can say that that was done as soon as you got away from the wall. Okay. So that gives us twenty temp HP. Can I do a as we pass over a scan of the remaining ships down there, just to get like an idea of. What the junk is, so we're leaving all that. Sure, yeah. Ooh, maybe one of them has a drift drive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe that's not. gonna be a twelve. Okay, um, there are. There's a really wide variety of ships. Um, it's like anything from just like small, um, small trading vessels, like little junks that probably could never even sustain a drift drive, um, to things that are twice the size of what you're in now. Okay. Um, and they're scattered pretty randomly because it looks like the wind just hit things and shoved them wherever they would go. Some of them are above the canyon, some of them are within it. You can tell that there's, in the scan, there's things that are partially buried. Um, it really seems like the only reason this one wasn't was because it was lifted off. Does anyone want an in-character breakdown of what, what the ship's parts are called? Yes. <laughs> Let's all right. Do it. So, like over the intercom, I'm just like, "All right, we got ourselves a pulse gray uh, power core, which means we're putting out about a hundred PCUs." Um, uh, skip over that. Uh, all right, start snoring. <laughs> we have uh, basic short range sensors, uh, crew quarters for. Um, so, how the crew quarters work it's is, Captain gets his own. The, quarters. the captain gets her own room, and then each of the rest of us bunk. Um, so it's two for. Uh, I kind of just plug into the wall. Yeah. So you basically get your own room because it's the toaster, and then we would have shared yeah. anyway. Yeah, <laughs> <a> culture. <laughs> I literally have like a small little spot where I just kind of go up the wall. Uh, we have Mark II uh, armor plating, uh, Mark III uh, basic defenses for the computer systems, um, a basic computer. It's only a tier one. Uh, we have anti uh, hacking uh, system security, Mark I, which. Uh, we should probably improve because I was able to get in pretty easy. Uh, and then we have uh, in the expansion base, we have the tech workshop and escape pods. Enough for at least six people. Oh. Noise. So are we space worthy besides this window that's broken? The windows. If the life support is back up, then yeah. You have a week of oxygen. Yeah, the vents could do with some cleaning. Yeah, we're but that would be to it, intake yeah. further to actually bring them back up to full. So Bra- without cleaning them out, you could not intake any more from the environment. Braga, can you tell what happened in the drift drive? Uh, it just seems to not be there, Captain. Did someone like rip it out, or did it just disappear? Can you tell? Yes. Uh, it seems to have disappeared. Uh, it seems like. Um, I don't know. I mean, the way it sounds. The, the casing was sealed, so no one opened the casing to remove it. <laughs> it sounds That's almost. Open. What happened to our ship, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And something drained our power core, which these things are meant to go for literal millennia. <laughs> I don't think we would have found a drift drive on any of the other ships. Mm-hmm. At least there's power. It definitely seems like this planet doesn't like Vesk. Or drift drives. <laughs> I get the strange sensation that all the drift drives here just kind of went into drift without the ship. That's what it sounds like to me anyway. Can I do a mysticism to see if there's any anything magical that I can sure. figure out what happened to these guys? That's going to be 23. Okay. Um, so you were previously operating under the assumption 
that this uh, was kind of a natural occurrence for the way that this world was just geologically functioning um, because you never looked at it from this angle before. And as you kind of take the time to put together the knowledge you gain from scanning the land with a mystic angle, uh, this is not a natural phenomenon. The storm? Oh. Ooh, speaking Someone of created the storm? Hmm. Speaking of the storm, though, our shields are up and we were still kind of getting out. In that time, how much damage was our shield taking as we flow through it? Um, nothing has hit the shield yet. Okay. Captain, it appears that this storm is not natural. Uh, it is some. It has some mystical source. Yes, and somehow drift drives are being stolen from ships. They approach the area around this planet. Any knowledge of anything that would do such a thing? Can I roll for that? I mean, you can. Giant worms. What would I roll? <coughs> Giant space worms. Um, I don't even know what you would roll for that. Uh, you could try culture. mysticism again culture. for something yeah. specific. Culture, yeah. See culture again. <laughs> Artifacts. Uh, culture is 13. Nothing's supposed to be able to do this, but at the same time, you know that drift drives aren't fully understood. It's a technology that was given to you by a god. People can't make them on their own without the assistance of that god, so... Um, not to step on anyone's toes. Uh, but I do follow the triune. That's mm -hmm. my religion. Could I also attempt to roll? Mm -hmm. um, I don't have mysticism, though. Culture. Uh, I don't have culture either. <laughs> <laughs> I have physical sciences? <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, you would probably... I'll just give you because you have the religion. You have a similar knowledge, but he is. You know that you cannot build a drift drive from scratch. Mm -hmm. um, it's something that is given out by the triune. Mm -hmm. uh, and possibly taken away by the Triune. You've never heard of the Triune doing that before. Because mm -hmm. um, the Triune's whole thing is they want us to be able to use the Drift. Yeah. For whatever nefarious purpose they have. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I will say, I need to go do something real fast. Okay. If we do any engineering checks, I'm helping you. <laughs> but you've never you heard of help. a Drift Drive. <laughs> Just take the plus two. Well, you nice if it's a... <laughs> You've never heard of a drift drive vanishing before in any of the religion. Like, none of the myths. It's always just been given. Captain, if it's any consolation, I would like to get the hell off of this planet. That's what we're all working towards. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, out of character, though, like, so our drift drive ex disappeared, but our ship stopped working. Why does this ship work? But so, okay, should I be asking that in character? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> to be does that make st am I, or am I un not remembering it right? So, to be honest, from what I've gathered mm -hmm. from the story so far, uh, our power core stopping working and our drift drive disappearing seem to be two separate, things. separate very coincidental events. Because um, we also had like these ships are obviously older than our crash, and whatever event did us also wiped out like words on our ship and we haven't really discussed about it in character but it's very reminiscent of the gap you know what i mean like gaps in memory loss and everything like that these ships obviously wouldn't have had that same effect because it seemed to be universal to the planet itself as well so i think it was two separate events have you tried to look for any names on the ship yet on this one, that no. That would be what I do next now that we're into the computer system. I mean, I, I figured I would have done that with the vest. I would have tried to find when I was looking at his stuff. There was no names on the stuff. Okay. Um, do you, so you want to look in the computer system? So, yeah. So, again, any information about their mission? Um, and then any, in, I guess, like, if there's a wider research to be done, why? what would steal drift drives? <laughs> See if they have information on us. Sure. Oh. And the star date. I mean, I don't know what I remember when our star date was leaving, but if I have mm -hmm. any reference point of when we left, what is the star date now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, okay, one thing at a time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, um, uh, I'll most of that I can just give you because okay. you're into the computer now. Um, the star date was five years prior. The start date on this ship is yeah, The prior. last thing that it was recording was five years prior. Five years ago. Okay. Like, when you turn on the computers, that's what they clocked to. And then the start date now is not odd compared to like what start date I remember time. leaving. No. Okay. Mm. Okay. No, you lost no time. 
this ship seems like it did whatever it did to get here five years prior. Okay. Uh, as far as crew names, um, there are names and basic rundown in, uh, rundowns on each of the crew members. Um, so you just get the basic like biometric stats like you would have on yourselves and your ship. Um, as far as uh, the name of the vessel, as far as its call number, all of that is just kind of smudged away. On the computer records? Yeah. That's incredibly... Pers- uh, impressive. <laughs> it's just like you look at the thing and it's just blank line, blank line, blank line, blank line, blank Redacted. line. <laughs> okay, I share that with everybody else. Hmm. Isn't that like that bedroom time story you tell me, Makizos? Which one? <clears throat> About how everyone on the planet forgot that planet? Oh, yeah. Could this be related to that? I mean, that was a hundred years ago. Yeah, it almost feels like a repeat of those events. I mean, potentially it could be, could not affect this civilization because of the lack of technology. So next time we get to a starbase, we could require cash. Yes. I have an idea. Why not try searching the database for, instead of looking for something specific, look for where there's empty spots. So what information is it there? Okay. Like yeah. corrupted data. Can I do that? Sure. That's going to be 25. Okay. Um, as you search through the records, it seems like generally speaking, um, personal information is available. Um, anything that would have referenced port of call, um, who owned the ship, because this is a crew, um, they seem like they weren't the owners of this ship they were a crew um what the thing was doing there the majority of the captain's log except for references to his family um are all just blanks seems that only personal information is recorded and there's still spaces for all those things it still says like call sign colon blank so it seems like any information of who hired the crew or who owned the crew, or who gave any kind of missions to the crew, gone. Crew themselves, still here. Sounds like us. And they've been sending, whoever they are, have been sending crews here for at least five years. Well, we actually don't know if this was their port of call. I just have a funny feeling that all of those ships we saw were sent here for some reason, and they've all failed. Have we made it to Bertaldus? Yeah, you, you, I was saying when you guys started this, the you saw that you were coming out of the okay. sand. So as soon as we land, I'm going to start cleaning out everything. Great. I desperately want to get off this planet. <laughs> I'll start helping clean like the vents and stuff. Okay. Everybody else? <laughs> I'll go to Bertalda. Okay. Um, Seems that we... Oh, you made it back! Yes, uh, in, in one piece, no doubt. Thank the Triune. Yes. Uh, as you leave to go see Bertalda, I cry, Grubs! Get Grubs! <laughs> I'll get Grubs. <laughs> um, do you, uh, by chance, have a manifest of when you landed on this ship, on this planet? Uh, well, I I suppose I do. It's been, like I said, about 30 years. Okay. So Can you check get that those you? manifests and see sure. what the call sign of your ship is and what its port of call? Um, sure. It takes her a minute and she goes and shuffles through an old shelf and pulls out a tablet. Um, it looks like it was just wrenched out of a ship, uh, but she kind of sealed everything up and put a little battery pack on the back so she would never lose her little keepsake. I love that. Um, That's adorable. <laughs> and she, she turns it on. Uh, it looks definitely like a 30-year-old piece of equipment. Mm-hmm. Um, the screen is just uh, a cathode green. Like it's uh, She hands it over to you. I'll flip um, through. Do I see... All the information. Everything? Mm-hmm. Okay. You can see that she started at Absalom Station. Um, that the By the time she ended up here, she was alone. Uh, it was a small vessel. Um, you can see kind of people coming and going. The last person that she was traveling with stayed at the station before she departed to the planet. Um, you also know that her ship did not crash land. She just came here. Okay. And we don't have access to the paranet here, right? To the what? To the, like, the internet? No. The systems? Okay. No, I mean, you guys had a hard time getting, like, radio mm-hmm. so um it's, it's strange but all that so the ship that we commandeered 
uh, it seems it had the same disease that our ship had. Uh, all record of who owned it, port of call, its mission, everything redacted. I gotta say, I never had much of a uh, pension for exploring the dark side of the planet, but you got me watering a little bit here. <laughs> if uh, that is what you wish, we have two speeders that we left behind that you might find interesting. Not sure how I'm going to get to the speeders, but good to know. <laughs> you got a spot marked for me. I know you've been here for yes. a very long time. Um, has the storm been raging the whole breadth of your stay? I mean, it gets better and worse, but the whole time that I've been here, it's been here. They stay away from the barter lens for the years that it gets particularly bad, but it's not hard to do. No one wants to live next to that. I swear to God, Mark, if you start us down a plot hook that we don't leave this planet, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> that was the one thing Colton told us not to do today. <laughs> um, I appreciate your candor with your information. Uh, it seems that we can get uh, Skyward uh, within the day. Oh, well, I can't say I'm happy to hear it, but... I'm glad that you'll be able to continue on on whatever you're trying to do. Yes, us too. And if you ever come back, you'll know where to find me. Yes. And not to go to the other side. Mm. <laughs> Ever. And I'll walk away. Okay. <laughs> shoot, shoot. I flip on the <laughs> intercom. <laughs> Bertalda, come look, they have a pulse gray! <laughs> <laughs> she did not think when you came up to run onto the ship, but that causes her to jump. <laughs> and she takes a basket with her, and she comes onto the ship. <laughs> look, 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 look! Even non-essentials are underneath the power cap. Whoever built this thing was a virtuoso. <laughs> Just kind of grabbing the deck for a second. <sighs> you can run all the systems at the same time, without any backlog. <laughs> no! i got to say. <laughs> Why? I brought you some grubs, dear. Oh, we can find more grubs. <laughs> she, she's brought in the basket was just full of grubs. I know, I know, but he's saying like there's grubs on other planets. You don't have to stay here I'm just sure for these. Are. No, no. <laughs> I love it here, and as much as it pains me to leave something this beautiful, would you like us to kidnap you, Mikizos? <laughs> <laughs> She, no kidnapping! <laughs> she pulls a blaster from her waistband and just kind of holds it to her side. <laughs> I don't want to hurt you, dear, because I love you dearly. But I won't be leaving anytime soon. This makes no sense. You want to leave. No, I love it here. I just want to stay on the ship. If this ship was staying here, I'd be glad. Well, we could. I would say we would visit, but this is the worst planet I've ever been to. <laughs> you just got to get to know her. That's all. No, she literally the, the worst back. planet ever. <laughs> <laughs> Ruffles I've been to, your top hairs. I've, I've been to asteroids that were more friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Ruffles your top hairs. Kisses the deck. <clears throat> I just feel like you'd be happier on any other planet. <laughs> <laughs> well... You've made for a hell of a week, all of you. I appreciate the extra entertainment. Can somebody talk Bertelda out of staying in this Kept awful an place? old lady happy. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate everything you've done for us, Bertelda. Gash says that the storm is magical. Oh, I mean, everything on this planet's a little bit magical. <laughs> just, I cannot understand why she would say. <laughs> he's, just like, he's just sitting there eating grubs, just like, why wouldn't, why, why would she stay? <laughs> Scratching your head, and one kind of like, yeah. like, like, like one's doing math problems because yeah. maybe it's a math thing. Yeah. <laughs> one's holding the sleeve. <laughs> I just want to say, you've done well, and I'm sorry for judging you. And I'll do what I can to stay open minded. I'm not going to make any promises; I'll be perfect. But got to start somewhere. Um, that is much appreciated. Uh, I don't imagine you'll see many of my kind on this planet again. But... Wait, Cash is in Vesk. <laughs> oh, God. I thank you for your hospitality. And she reaches out and shakes your hand. Shake her hand. Um, is there anything else you'll be needing of me? I need one very important thing. 
Hugs. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so get down on one knee and give you a hug. It's weird because he's kind of fuzzy, but also a little stuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I'm just like, where did, where did I go wrong as a father? Um, I mean, we're mercenaries. We kidnap people all the time. <laughs> I'm a mercenary. You're a tag along. <laughs> I'm just saying, I've seen you hit people on the head. <laughs> Times change. <laughs> and through the head very shortly ago. <laughs> we don't talk about that. The captain's here is stained. Um, I'm sorry. It's what? Stained. 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 With the blood of... Oh, the best. The best. Yeah. Oh, um, she will... Um, she'll walk down off the ship. She doesn't want to help me leaving? at least tune up the engine. That's if you ask for help, she asked if there's anything yes, you needed of her. help me tune up the engine! <laughs> I don't need help, it'll give me more opportunities. <laughs> um, she does find, like, a few um, things that are then not... Then I let her find. <laughs> <laughs> See, look at how useful you are! <laughs> I would have never found that! <laughs> Had issues with Wave and... Wave? wave? Age and having the dust in the ship and helps you clean things off. Oh my gosh, um, we're definitely going to die a fiery death unless you come with us. <laughs> <laughs> Raga, let it go! How long were we gone? Um, Just a day. Yeah, it really wasn't very long. Probably should have been longer, but it wasn't very long. <laughs> we were knee deep in a magical storm. It was long enough. And there were zombies. <laughs> yeah, I mean, basically you left at the crack of dawn and okay. it's now like probably sundown. I'm just going to check on our little metal eating buddy that we left with them, but never mind. We, we can't go we in there anyway. We can't go in there anyway. Okay, I'm going to have Mike help me. I'm going to stand on your shoulder so I can paint our new our new name of our ship on the ship. Which is? The Portalda. <laughs> oh, I thought we were going to go with the eventuality. Oh. When did we say that? I like the last Portalda. session. <laughs> I don't remember it was a joke because that. Did, but I liked it. I the, like the eventual Portalda. Portalda's Portalda. <laughs> eventuality. Portalda fine. There we go. No, just the, the Portalda. Portality. Just the Portalda. No, that was no. sweet. That was Portalda's sweet. eventuality. <laughs> the Portalda. It's the captain's ship. Besides, so it's the is, Portalda. I mean, this no, no. is going to be our long term ship. It's just, <laughs> I don't think. Like, it's right. Like, oh, is it? Okay. <laughs> Well, we can take a vote, I guess. <laughs> no, I, I like that. how the game works. Like, we have the one ship, and then we slowly upgrade it. Right, that's what I mean. Yeah, like, I figured better. this... Okay. Well, well, unless I like we get a bigger ship, which the large ships have their own issues, so I would want to go larger than medium. But okay. Good to know. I'm glad that you've made these decisions for us. <laughs> I'm just... I, who's read the shipbuilding rules? <laughs> <laughs> Good point. <laughs> I certainly okay, are we going with uh, the Portalda? Portalda's the eventuality? The Portalda. Or, okay. the Portalda. <laughs> Captain, oh. it is a beautiful sentiment. <laughs> and Thank then you. if Portalda ever dies, we can change it to the eventuality. Oh <laughs> Eventually it'll be changed. <laughs> okay. Eventually. And that does bring a tear to her eye. Jesus, it's just a little motor oil. Sorry. <laughs> Don't put your hand near your eye, then. <laughs> that stuff eats through the, 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 the ocular tissue. <laughs> Get your six of lines off me. I'm fine. <laughs> Thank you for all your assistance, Portalda. Anytime. Have a good life on this planet. Um, anything do else do we any need to do? Do little toaster. Do any of the ship parts work like a kind of, um, what is that stuff called? Does this smell? Chloroform? Oh no. my god. <laughs> they, they don't. Mike, can you go watch Raya? <laughs> she's on the ship. I will raise it high enough so you cannot get off the ship. <laughs> raise the opening. I, I put your harness on. <laughs> and just hold you with my tail. It's a small dog harness. <laughs> I hold you with my tail. Don't <laughs> mint. <laughs> I can't even talk. <laughs> you, you I'm get... sorry. My throat's all messed up today, guys. So I'm sorry. My voice is not. <laughs> you you kind of sound like Makizos in your normal. I know. Voice. But... <laughs> Starting to try to walk away, and he just lifts you enough that your legs are kicking in the air. <laughs> <laughs> I was just see like. <laughs> We've done this before. Like, don't. <laughs> 
don't make well, me clip you to my suit. <laughs> <laughs> that's I like it. I like There's it. like a little post sticking out of one of the like shoulders that's specifically for him. He's not Aww. acting right now. Thank you. Eventually, she would learn to love us. <laughs> yes, but she space. doesn't want to go with yeah, us. That's <laughs> called kidnapping. Stockholm syndrome. Yeah. Uh, sounds like a nice syndrome. Less <laughs> lovely city, lovely syndrome. <laughs> um, okay. I will, uh, we have to like get air once we get the vents cleared out. Into- well, so the life support system should cycle the air. We just have to get enough stuff into it to cycle it correctly. Yeah. So like we just like fill up on the air that we will cycle through, and then like, once we're pretty much ready, Captain. Whenever we have the chance to do stuff. Well, I still need to fix the toilets. Um, well, I, I don't see the need. Can I roll to... Oh. <laughs> you will in a little bit. <laughs> Can I roll to find the nearest um, star station and uh, lock in telemetry? Sure. Can I assist because I have a navigation? Sure. I don't assist. Eleven. Um, this one, uh, it, it wasn't a hard roll. Um, she told you uh, where the nearest um, drift entrance was, and there is a station that's orbiting it. Okay. Um, so uh, she... Before she left, I'll say that she helped you out a little bit with that. Okay. Um, but it's Galdaran Station, um, and it's it's within a few days' travel from here. But it's Gul'dan still Station. in the Viscaria. I we're on the outskirts, yeah. I mean, but I mean, like it's gonna be a Vesk space station. She didn't say that. She said it was a Junker. Okay. Wait, so it's not like it's a Junker, is and no one lives there? No, like they just they're like junk collectors, basically. Uh, junker uh, scrappers. Yeah, scavengers. Let's try not to call them that. We're I didn't say a it in <laughs> But you do know as well that she left. Um, that was where she left her last companion before coming here. Because when she gave Mark her log, there are no catch. other options. Probably that's the um, that's going to be that's the only one that you scanned for. And with an eleven, I don't think you'll see anything else. Um, I would say that there's. I mean, you're in a star system, so there's other planets. Um, whether those planets have an option to get a drift drive would be questionable. Well, that and, like, with using just our normal thrusters, it's going to be a hell of a long time before we see that space station. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> damn it, that 11! <laughs> I think it's 46 days, like, in system travel. Well, we don't have enough life support for that. So. No, no, we will once we finish cycling. Yeah, wow. and we good. I will say that... Um, for the for the station, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be just one d four. Um, for the nearest planet, um, I say don't. Don't worry. Yeah. I changed the DC for this because I had a lower DC because you guys had already heard of it. Um, so, I uh, I guess roll yeah roll two d six for the nearest planet. I shouldn't give it to you, but I want you to know it. <laughs> I want you to have all your Seven. options. Uh, okay, yeah, so it's going to be that divided by two. So it's going to be four days from the nearest planet, which is actually not that bad. Okay. Um, or give me the D4s. How many? Uh, two D4s. Eight. Um, so four days. that one against me. <laughs> <laughs> so it's four days in either direction. Okay. Two so four days in the two. space station, four days to the nearest planet. Mm-hmm. Okay. But what's the tech level of the planet? Or do we not know? You don't know. He got an alert. We don't even know if it's inhabited. No. Okay. I believe you all must stock up on food before we leave. Oh, no. The ship would, again, have everything. We have the rations from our ship, and then whatever rations this ship might have. I believe so this, is, this ship well, this is five is years awkward old. That, but, like, the life support system also processes waste into food. Into food. So we have infinite food. As long as, so you're sustainable. With, as long as you're with your ship. <laughs> yeah, because you can technically live on these ships forever. Wonderful. That's the, that's the point of them. Mm. Like, Waste we into food. Never I'm glad have I do not need it. So we don't have to worry about, like, if we go to that ship and then there's nothing there, we have it. We're taken care of. Okay. That's nice. I vote Space Station. Well, I the only concur. problem I have with the Space Station is if they are scrappers, I mean, what's to protect us? Well, I guess we do have guns. We also are a p- we have piece, a piece of scrap. They probably have to protect us. us. Yeah, but we're pretty close to the Vescarium. There's a lot of those. That's why I don't want to go to the planet first. I want to go to the space station because it sounds like they're scrappers and so they may not be Vesk. And then we can ask about the nearest planet. 
I mean, whatever we want to do, it's going to take us time anyway. Yeah. yeah. Captain. I see the space. Let's head for the space station. I'll lock it in. Okay. And we're sure we don't want to destroy that little village because they were mean to be. No. <laughs> we are not killing anyone on this planet. We wouldn't kill them. <laughs> Is there a cardboard box about yay big somewhere in this ship? A cardboard a box. box. Yeah, just a cheap little box that's no like that's very weak. Why would there be a cardboard? box? Oh, like box? an empty box. Yeah. Well, oh, okay. A box like this big. I'll go buy one if I need to. I want one <laughs> what this are big. You looking for? for um. Uh, Personal reasons. <laughs> <laughs> I want a little box. You can check the, the storage bays. I will look for a <laughs> You can oh, check man. the storage bays and see if there's anything. Is there a box? I look. <laughs> I want a box. Give me a perception. Like 18? Yeah. Uh, there's a pile of empty boxes. I take one that's this big. Okay. And I keep it as mine. <laughs> okay. It will come up later. Seek your soulmate friends. This is a tool that will help us later. <laughs> I will decorate it so it looks pretty. <laughs> Captain, perhaps we should discuss the eventuality if the junkers also are missing their drift drives. Yes, I would hope that would mean they would give us some information, but if they do not have any drift drive technology, I guess we'll have to reassess what our next steps are. Hopefully we'll have more information about what's near the station. Maybe they'll know. I mean, with enough UPBs, it is technically possible to build one. I thought it wasn't possible. I thought only the your gods could bestow someone with a drift drive. Well, I mean, I could ask them. You have to get the technology from them. If they grant it, you can make it. I'm just saying, we may not be trapped. <laughs> Whatever you need to do Those to get a drift drive, though. I would appreciate it. will take care of us. Okay. And we have enough scrap on the ship, we might be able to make a fair amount of money. Hopefully. It's worth a shot, but... <laughs> Step one is getting there, which I'm sure a bunch of stuff is going to go wrong on the way, so... <laughs> and we never actually rolled for how much scrap you had. We just said we're taking pieces of the hull. So does somebody want to give me a scrap roll? Uh, well, my thought process was because of the build points on the shirt ship, mm -hmm. we could just use those spare parts to narratively. Never mind. Yeah, we can roll for it. For using the build points to sell if you needed to? Well, I'm just saying like that explains why we could buy a drift drive without... Got it. Because mm. we technically have the build points left in the ship to just install one by the rules, but I don't want to be that guy. So, so. now I would give you. <laughs> so now what I'm saying is I will give you the scrap on top of those. Oh, well, yeah, somebody how do, that. How do you roll for scrap? Um, I would say give me. Uh, I'll take a d10 from you and a d10 from you because you were the two that were dismantling things. Bad. God, Jared. Eight. Okay. Ten. You so got we'll, a ten? No, I got a two, but oh. ten. <laughs> this is okay. why we don't let him do my job. He <laughs> <laughs> said some rough rolls tonight. <laughs> don't waste it. They were <laughs> you all get bad except one. for the okay, last one. So get rid of the bad ones. There you go. <laughs> I feel like the next one's going to be bad. Too. So you should have yeah. a billion D10s because of the other game. <laughs> I have a lot of them. I was like, the, I'll pick the nice pretty one, ones. and it gave me a two. Oh, oh, you wanted me to roll a D10? <laughs> World of Darkness. <laughs> That's weird. It's still an eight. <laughs> He's got eight again. Uh, so we have ten as far as scrap hole pieces go. Okay, is there anything else? I don't think so. Are we ready? We're going. No. Engage! Yes. <laughs> we do not have a drift drive. We cannot engage that. We are just going. Oh. <laughs> Thruster! <laughs> Whatever the word for that if is. If we want to spend a little bit Thrusty. of time, I could go over like the, the nitty gritty of the ship, too. Give it's, it to us. If you're done story-wise, I could... I have a little more we can go, but... Okay, go ahead. Okay. Um... <laughs> I'm just saying, if you didn't yeah, have I know, anything I for the last 20 minutes. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um okay, so... Uh... First day, um, I made these rolls on the planet, so the first day there is no event. Um, this area of space, like you found out when you got here, pretty empty. Um, if the Vescaran could find nothing interesting, it was hard for anybody else to. Um, and when you left, it was a clear day. You had no problem getting out of the orbit of the planet. 
um, at the end of the first day. Wait, okay, hold on though. So <laughs> when we're leaving, is there anything we should be looking for in that mystical arena? Like when we're in orbit? If you'd like to. Does that make would sense? Would another scan give us any more information? Um, the scan's not going to tell you anything mystical. It would tell you like physical things. Just have magic. But you can do a you can do a. I can detect magic that far away. <laughs> I mean, it's visual. You spend range. a reach point. <laughs> <laughs> do another scan of the planet and see anything you can get out of it. Still, I will try to fly. I mean, I'll detect magic. It's a cantrip. Do I see anything? I would say that that is not the intent of a cantrip. Yeah. <laughs> that you can scan a whole planet yeah. for magic. Um, but I'll do another thing, yeah, but this I mean, it is a planet-wide <laughs> store. <laughs> I, I mean, I think if you do that, it just shows up that there's a light hue of magic for that entire half of the planet. Uh, that's yeah. going to be 13. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be that's... a 13. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, that would have been really similar to what you got the first time okay. that you scanned the planet. Okay. So... Cool. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hang on. Hang on. It's a 15, because the computer's add plus two to his computer's roll. Oh, lovely. I didn't know that. Um, also, it's keep in mind for same. you that the ship systems give you a plus two to piloting. You get more specific nice. numbers. Um, you get the actual you know, full diameter of the planet. You can see the percentage of the planet that's taken up by the storm. 46. Uh, and that's that's basically that's it. it. You got some more specifics, but you you've gotten the gist of how the environment was built that there was not very much water, that the water that there was was under the surface, you know. Okay. Oh, we didn't screw that village by destroying that oasis, right? Did we even ask that? Was that was pretty far from the village. Okay. <laughs> the water is underground. I know, but I, I just, I realized we never asked, like, you guys don't get water from an oasis about six hours that way, do you? <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> I just realized we never broached that with anyone. No. You didn't. Okay. But they're fine. Okay. <laughs> have wells. And I would say, like, my regiment throughout the day would be scanning our environment That's around it. us to make sure there's no incoming threats. Mm -hmm. uh, also, the ship scanners do do that automatically, so they would also warn you. Mm. Fancy. Like, if somebody was hiding from our sensors, sure, but, like, any little, like, if, like, we were approaching an asteroid, it would let you know. Okay. Mm. Um, I avoid the rocks. <laughs> uh, you don't even really get asteroids out here. Hmm. Like you're you're not near an asteroid belt or anything. This is pretty open space. I mean, you know from being on a crew for a number of years that space is mostly empty, anyways. But also, the ship's computer has a strong enough processor to where we could set it to any one crew task, so it can even pilot us if we have a set destination. So we could pilot while sleeping, essentially. I will just stay in the chair and plug into an outlet as I just kind of like... Mm. I'm just saying. Like, the ship's pretty cool. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, cool. I've made you useless by taking no, care no, no, of this no, no, ship. Because, no. like, for maneuvers, we wouldn't want the computer to okay. do that. But I'm just saying, like, for, for flying travel. from A to B. Because, yeah. like, we're going to spend weeks, like, you know what I mean, in drift. Like, throughout the game, we're going to spend, like, weeks in drift space at times. So... <laughs> yeah, I'll just make you know how we all have those different rooms the cockpit is my room <laughs> that's the captain's room she has she a has, chair she has, the, she has a chair in the middle <laughs> everywhere like three feet from the chair is my little spot oh boy. <laughs> every room is your room <laughs> okay <Day> um, two. <laughs> um, was there anything else you wanted to do on the first day okay just make sure um, everything's working I need a percentage roll from each of you. That's a, that this one, one, this one and another one. Ninety-three. Wow. Ninety-three. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, nothing. You got a good night's sleep. Um, neither of you remember any dreams. It's uneventful. As a special treat, I make roast grubs that night. Aww. Oh, in honor of Bertalda. Hey, Bertalda. <laughs> she uh, was much better at hiding the grub flavor, but I've tried to like accentuate it. <laughs> Do you just roast them and not actually? Yeah. Got it. <laughs> they're they're hefty. <laughs> Did you roast these on the power cord or something? Or what? No, I use the oven. <laughs> kind of like a weird. Because we have good uh, crew quarters, so we have a kitchen. 
and uh, like a dining space. Whereas if we had went with the basic crew quarters, we would literally have just like bunks. So you're welcome, everyone. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I will say in the interest of time, the next two days pass uneventfully. Um, you, There's almost nothing here. Um, every night you get a restful night's sleep. Uh, and it does take the allotted amount of time um, where by the end of that third day, beginning of the fourth day, you're starting to pick up the signal from the station. I wasn't sure you sneeze or not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just yawning. Uh, you end up picking up the signal from the station on your scanner. Okay. Okay. We prepare for Do approach. we want to go over the stuff now? Well, are we... Pick up the space station next time? Sure. Is that the end call? I'm fine either way. So let's go ahead and go over the systems of the ship. Okay. We can all understand what we're doing. There. That would be pretty handy. Okay. So it's a medium explorer. So like how ships work in Starfinder, we can also turn this into kind of like a tutorial for the thing, is uh, as a party, we take our average party level, and then that tells us what how many build points we have for our ship. So like how the rules work is we should never have to actually buy stuff for the ship. It's just as we level, the ship also levels up. And gives us more build points. So as a tier two ship, because we're level two, we had 75 build points. Um, and I got it to where we spent exactly 75 with the drift engine. So like whenever we have that empty spot for the drift engine, whenever we can find one. Um, so we've already paid for it, essentially? Essentially. Like we don't have it, but like I left enough spots for us to put it in. Um, uh, so we have a speed six. So on a, on a battle map, with hexes, we would have speed six that goes into like all of your maneuvers and stuff like that, which I'm sure you've looked at. I actually have. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot. It does have a good maneuverability, so we have a one turn. So like it only takes us one space to make a turn, mm-hmm. whereas like some of the other thrusters, it can take like up to three spaces to make a turn. Wow. Yeah. Um, if we do get a drift drive, we have drift one. Uh, the armor class is 14. The uh, I can't remember what TL stands for, but that's 15. So like target lock, that's what it is. So for weapons that like trace us, we have a separate AC, which is the target lock, which is 15. Um, that's kind of like what your the science officers do. You like target lock on the things. Can I say, I actually recently got, you know, like the raised platforms for minis and things. I don't know if we'll ever do it, but I was like so excited. I was like, wait a minute, star combat. I have all the things to like help us like 3D it. <laughs> I'm super down to play with that. Um, I have it. <laughs> we'll have to get some practice and see how it'll look. But yeah. I was we like, you oh. have an extra camera that we oh. might be able to work with. True. Just excited. He's so excited. And a 3D printer. Oh, yeah. Um, so Starship. the hull points. Uh, the hull points are 55. 50 right now. Oh, no, but I would have repaired that while we were at Patalus. We can roll for that next time. I could just oh, okay. go outside. It just takes ship. me an hour. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so we're at fifty right now. Whatever. Um, <laughs> we had four days to beat. Our DT is <laughs> NA, which I can't remember what that does, and our CT is eleven. If I had the book, I could tell you what that is. But... <laughs> <laughs> it's over there in the bag. Um, so we have uh, basic shields for twenty, which means we have twenty shield points, but they have to like. So we have five in each one of our arcs. Mm-hmm. So if we're attacked from a certain it's for five. Shields are really, really, really build point heavy. So that's why I got us a, a nice one to where it's a nice even number all the way around. So um, our forward arc is a gyro laser. It only does 1d8 damage, but it can attack the forward, the port, and the starboard arcs. No, not the port. Aft? And- no, port and starboard. Star- those are the sides. Mm-hmm. Aft, is, sides. The Aft is the back. No, stern, no, stern is, the is the back. Aft must be the front. Or that's the bow. The it says forward port and turret is what we have. So <laughs> <laughs> the forward arc is the gyro laser. It's 1d8. Uh, our port one is a high explosive missile launchers. Those are tracers. So you would lock on and then he would fire out and it would literally just chase him. Uh, and those do 48 damage. Uh, and then we have the chain cannon, which is the 64 that we used on the, the pillar. That one's on a turret, so it can attack any arc. Bow and stern. Bow and Bow stern. stern. Know that SpongeBob taught us that. That's so good. I, I don't think our ship has is next to. Yeah. So then what's aft? I think that's actually something to do with like the, the bottom. Oh, Toward maybe. the stern. 
toward the stern. Uh, so toward the back. So it's part back. <laughs> so okay. aft means like the direction of going towards the stern. Like sure. move aft. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wouldn't it be move sternward? Ships make no sternward. sense. Sternward. <laughs> sternward does not. So sense. that's when your directional is like forward or aft. Oh. oh. Hmm. So, so forward and backward. backward. Yes. And then, like I said, we already went over all this stuff. Like, we have a pulse gray. And what I was saying with Bertaldo about the essentials, not essentials, is it is possible to have it to where, like, you have systems that it, you have to turn them off to use other systems. With our ship, we don't have to turn anything off. Yet. Yet. Depending on how you build it. And then it's plus two to computers, plus two to uh, piloting. It is a complement six, so uh, we need ev- all. It's a nice one. It complements us. Well, it just means we can have up to six crew members. We only have five right now, but we could have a six. That's pretty cool that it adds to our rules mm-hmm. on things. There's no minuses to any of our rules? Nope. Right? Not right now, no. Oh, that's something to look forward to, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, great. Well, no, I mean, like, technically, I, I bought some pretty basic systems, so those numbers, like, what it adds to our systems will only get better. I would think, yeah. yeah. I, think I mean, and you could have minuses if you took damage to a specific system, right? Yes, that's where that comes in. Because, yeah. like, um, uh, when we take critical hits and stuff to the system, that, that'll be my job during ship combat is to fix those things by patching them or, like, redirecting energy if we haven't taken any damage. We'll probably have to have a whole meeting about ship combat at some point. <laughs> I'll break my stacks. <laughs> Uh, but it's actually pretty simple once you actually read the chapter on it. It's just like you basically have two character <coughs> classes in Starfinder. Your planet side class and then your role on the ship. And then you have different abilities depending on which one you're doing at the time. So. Like the captain has like sass abilities. <laughs> of course. Oh, and you can also conspire taunt. too. It's not sass, it's taunt. I was assuming you would sass people. (laughs) (laughs) Sass sounds like gendered, I guess. Oh, I didn't mean it to be. I know, but that's me. Maybe as a gay man, I think of sassy. Oh, I guess that's true. true. (laughs) But yeah, so that was the ship. Um, I had called it the eventuality because I thought that's what we had picked, but Rotalda is much sweeter for sure. (laughs) (laughs) Call it the porty. The porty. Porty. Um, As you come within signaling range of the vessel and you can get a full view of it um, on the ship's screens, uh, you suddenly get over the loudspeaker. Welcome to Galdarin! Seller beware, buyer be fair. Deals, 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 and steals, steals, steals. Step right up, make your offer. We'll be glad to see you. And that's where we'll end today.